Hey y'all, welcome back friends. Um, if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Um, thank you for checking us out today. Um, if you are a subscriber, welcome back to today's video. I am Tracy, if you're new here. Um, I'm the keeper of the home here at 4D Farms. And um, in today's video, um, I'm going to be walking you through um, uh, the meal that I am going to be cooking. Um, I cooked it last night and I was going to video, but y'all, we're on a trip, a work trip, and one of the guys that works at the same plant, um, uh, where my, where my husband is at right now, he works the night shift. And I'm really trying to be respectful and not get in here, um, during the daytime or something like that and bang around and do all this stuff while he's trying to get some sleep. So I have to be respectful and some videos of, of my Instant Pop meals and my air fryer meals, I might get to video and some, I might, they just might be so easy y'all that I can just walk you through it. That's how easy some of these things are that I'm finding to cook, okay? Last night's meal was no exception. It was so easy, and I took pictures of the steps, and I will include them at the end of the video, okay? So just stay tuned. It was just so easy. We had um, uh, tilapia and in the air fryer. Both of these were fixed in the air fryer, y'all, and it didn't take uh, long at all. The salmon only took eight minutes. The uh, vegetables, we had squash and zucchini, and they were done in like 15 minutes, maybe 16 minutes, something like that. Y'all, less than 20 minutes, the vegetables were roasted in the air fryer. Okay, but I started my prep that morning, okay, and this is when I was trying to be quiet because they come in and he goes to bed, and I'm like, I gotta be quiet. Here I am trying to chop very quietly. It's kind of hard to do, okay, but I did it, okay, and I was trying to hurry, so what I did was I, you don't have to marinate these things, but I wanted to try it differently this time. I marinated them. I cut up my squash and zucchini. I had one and a half squash and one and a half zucchini because I used the other half of those to put in some egg bites I made for my husband's breakfast for the week. So, oh, I gotta get comfortable. This chair's not very comfortable. Um, and I'm, I'm sitting by my window and I'm watching some birds out here, y'all. I like that. I'm trying to get me some vitamin D here and some sunshine, but I, they, these birds caught my eye. So, if you see me looking up and around, you, you'll know I'm, I'm following some. I'm squirrel, y'all. I'm that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to cooking. Uh, let's see, where was I? Yes, all right, I wanted to marinate all these. So, I cut up the squash and the zucchini. I put in a Ziploc bag. I put some olive oil. I put any kind of seasonings you want to. Any kind of seasonings I felt like dumping in there. Like, let's try a little of this. Y'all, if you know anything about me and if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I'm an eyeball taste tester until it feels right to my soul seasoning kind of person <laughs> I don't have specific measurements y'all like a teaspoon a, mm -mm, a splash of this a dash of that a sprinkle of this and just till it feels right to my soul y'all and then I can taste test as I go okay and then yeah, okay, that's just me. So, I put all that in a Ziploc bag. Um, I did put just a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil in there with all my seasonings, salt and pepper to taste, because I like that little wang in my roasted vegetables. Um, if you like a little wang, but you don't like lemon juice, try balsamic vinegar. I might try that next time. That just came to my mind. I have to write that down. Balsamic vinegar, um, different things, y'all. You can roast your vegetables in. Okay, so I, I closed up my bag, I shook them around real good, and then just set it to the side. I put it back in the refrigerator. Actually, I let it marinate all day long. Okay. Next, I took two fillets of tilapia. We like tilapia. 
I took two fillets of those, put them in a Ziploc bag, put just a little bit of olive oil, just enough to wear to coat the fish and get the seasonings to stick to the fish fillets, okay? Maybe a tablespoon, I will give you a measurement of that. It was maybe like a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half for two fillets. Then I put seasonings of my choice, seasonings of your choice, whatever you want. I put some um, minced garlic, salt and pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice, okay? So, I, oh, and y'all know my little um, plants I showed you in the last video? I've got basil. I love basil, y'all. I put, I took a sprig of this rosemary. I'm letting these get some sunlight every day and I just watered them so I can come and cut fresh herbs. Okay, I miss my arrow garden, okay? So, I took a couple of sprigs of the rosemary, stuck it down in the bag, closed the bag up, shook it around. I didn't wanna do it too much because I didn't wanna break my fillets and have chunks. So, uh, I just kinda mushed it around a little bit, rubbed it around a little bit with my hands, zipped it up, put it in the refrigerator. I didn't want the fishy smell in here all day long. So, I put it in the refrigerator, let them marinate all day long. When it got time to cook the supper, I grabbed the two bags out of the refrigerator. I dumped the vegetable, the bag that had the vegetables in it. I dumped it in the basket of the air fryer. Didn't have to spray it or nothing. 375, I think for 16 minutes. If you want, it depends on how you, how crunchy you still want your vegetables, okay? If you still want them crunchy, go less minutes, but you want a little bit of crunch, but a little bit of softness adjust your times y'all i have to play with my air fryer okay to get it to like i want it okay i can take recipes off of youtube or pinterest and go by their time and their degrees but i still may have to tweak it some y'all so you may have to do that just i i put it on a time my air fryer a suggested time is 15 minutes so i was like mm okay we'll try 15 minutes okay so then in between on my air fryer halfway through the cooking time no matter what you set it for it's going to tell you to shake okay so um halfway through that time i was able when i when i opened the drawer to shake it i was able to see and get one out and test it to where that way i know if i need more minutes or not okay sometimes you're just gonna have to play everybody's air fryers are different instant pots are different ovens are different crock pots are different okay you're just gonna have to play around with it so I tested as I went and I think the minutes that I had on there was just perfect okay so I took them out put them in a bowl put a lid on them to keep them warm because I knew it was gonna I cooked them first because I knew it was gonna take longer okay the tilapia only took eight minutes. My basket was already greased. I didn't have to spray it. Didn't have to put aluminum foil down, nothing. I put my tilapia fillets right in my basket, 375, because I didn't want to crank it up to 400 and burn the tops. You know what I'm saying? Let's play around. My, my coal is in the top of this air fryer. So sometimes I may have to flip something over, okay? Excuse me. I may have to flip something over. <laughs> of that bird. It's a mockingbird. Okay. And uh, eight minutes was perfect. Okay. I think I did, um, yeah, halfway through, four minutes on each side in my air fryer. Eight minutes. By the time those got done, the squash and zucchini was still warm. I took the lid off and they were still warm. So it was perfect timing. Cook your longest thing first cook your shortest thing next because if you cook your shortest thing and then then you wind up having something that cooks for longer that's going to get cold this is going to be warm you're going to have to heat that up so say i did it my shortest time thing i cook last okay so that was it y'all that was our supper oh so oh y'all y'all are gonna laugh at me y'all are gonna laugh at me laugh with me don't laugh at me okay if y'all have seen my um video making cinnamon rolls using canned biscuits yeah you can y'all i had so many comments on that video 
that now I just let it go in one ear and out the other because I know what I'm doing, okay? I had so many comments. Did you not know you could buy canned biscuits, canned cinnamon rolls right beside the can of biscuits that you just bought to make cinnamon rolls? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, I did. I know this. But y'all, in my video, I stated my husband loves flaky layer biscuits. And he saw a little hack on Pinterest that he just wanted me to try. And for some reason, flaky layer biscuits does not spike his sugar. And then he said, can you try this for me? Yes, my love, I can. I will do that for you. That's why I did it, y'all. Okay, so, but y'all, <laughs> last night or, or when I went shopping, y'all know what I bought? <laughs> I bought a can of canned cinnamon rolls just to make y'all happy. You're welcome. Okay, it was quick and easy. Yes, I could have bought another can of biscuits and made my husband that little treat that he likes, but... I don't have the space in here, y'all. I don't have my rolling pin. I don't have anything in here to uh, be creative with and make me a rolling pin, okay, like I had to do in that video. We were not in our house when that video was made. We were in a rent house on a job, and she didn't have a rolling pin. So I just got creative, and I tried to find something. Y'all go check that video out. Okay, I just gave you a bunch of explanation right there. So you'll know not to ask those questions. Okay, so yes, I did buy a can of cinnamon rolls last night right beside those flaky layer biscuits that I was so tempted to get for my husband, but I didn't have the room in here last night, y'all. I didn't have the space to roll out all the biscuits, so I just grabbed a can of cinnamon rolls last night, and we had a sweet treat for dessert. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Okay. So, and then I had to laugh at myself. I'm like, you know all the comments that you got on your video, and here you are buying some can. And yeah, I did. I laughed. I'm still laughing. But y'all, they were just as good. But if I could have done it, I would have done that again for him because that's just how we roll. Random acts of kindness for each other, for the people that you love, okay? That's just what we do. So, I'm fixing to include all the pictures at the end of this video to let you see the steps and what everything looked like. I'm sorry the lighting might not be perfect because there's only a couple of lamps in that corner over there and I'm trying to do the best I can with the lighting in here. I may have to get my lamp out. Um, but I took a picture of the squash as I was doing it in the bag. I'll show you all the steps from start to finish. Y'all try this meal. It came together in prep time, cooking time, 30 minutes maybe. Not long, y'all. Let's see, 16, 15 to 16 minutes for the squash. Eight minutes, y'all, 30 minutes. I put a meal on the table and I only messed up one thing and that was the air fryer basket. Okay? 30 minutes I put a meal on the table for me and him. Okay? Air fryers, get them out. Instant pots, get them out. Y'all stay tuned. Um, if I can, I will video tonight's meal. I might not get to because of when, you know, he comes in and out, I, but y'all just stay tuned. I, I will video when I can, or I'll, I'll go ahead and cook it, take pictures, and walk you through it the next day for the next video. So y'all just stay tuned. I've got a whole bunch more recipes coming for Instant Pot and Air Fryer, okay? Catch y'all in the next one. Stay tuned. I'll show you the pictures. Hold on. <laughs> 